Hi, my name is Sam Smythe. We're located here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Our company is Sam Smythe Imported Car Service Incorporated. Today, this is the second video of the Anaj T. Um, that's a twin turbo model. I'm going to show you uh, the front of the motor here with uh, the radiator and the various things out of it and show you for things that you might want to keep in mind when you have your own car and you want to have it checked and for technicians to check for as well. Anyway, um, we're going to drop to the front. We're going to come across this air compressor, drop right on down, and we're going to show you where a whole bunch of oil was. We have it on the other video, but it was all right here, right under that idler pulley, was blowing the oil up and down and all around in that section because that was loose. The other thing was the inside of the back of this area here where your uh, radiator hose goes in the very back that was leaking where somebody left the clamp just not tight enough. It ruined the hose between the heat and the antifreeze leaking through it and the heat off that turbo. So anyway, we've got various idler pulleys, but what we wanted to point out here in this video is, is something you might want to keep in mind, let's come over to the bar here in the front of it, is like when people get to your air cleaners on each side of each bank of the engine, you want to make sure things like this are pushed in all the way. Um, otherwise you can get, um, breather emissions discharge and things like that. Let me let me just show you uh, the opposite side where it's connected and how you won't have get this oil or dirt or residue. You come over to here and you can see that this side is completely clean and it's completely pushed up. Um, now what we did find though however was if you come in the side down this trunk of this hose your air cleaner box is down there and there's a hose clamp down there and the air box is unclipped so that's a clip right there in the shadow right here there's a clip in the shadow it's un unclipped so you may want to keep that in mind have that looked or have your technicians check for that anyway and then when you come that's on the right bank you come to the left bank of the motor, come down by the air part, and I guess someone was in trying to get to this. Here, oh, let me use that light a second. They were trying to get into where this oil leak and coolant was, and they were pulling, I guess, the air box they were getting ready to pull. But if we look in here, I'm trying to get it. There's an actual bolt missing. See the, you can see the hole. I don't know if you can really pull back on that, it's so yeah. stiff. There it is, there it is, right there. If you look, you can see it right there. My light's flashing over it. There's a hole there with the metal that actually goes to this air box piece that gets all snapped down with the air cleaner. So that's on the left bank of the motor as well. So between that, this bolt down here by the crankshaft which comes loose at the case. So you have to take that all apart. Um, you don't want to try and tighten it from just that nut. That won't do you any good. You actually got to take that nut off and get behind it and then take that all out. The best thing to do is take it all out, Teflon tape it and uh, thread sealer on it, put it back in. And then uh, that way the gentleman or the lady has half a chance with that never leaking again. Then put the sleeve back on that holds the stainless steel hose. Then put the nut on. And in this case, we put a lock washer on there. There was no washer at all that was missing. So and it fit just quite fine there with no problems whatsoever. You can see you actually have one or two threads left. Uh, so it, it was able to go down and press down properly. So we've got that all going. Um, you'll see green antifreeze in here. This is a, uh, a lot of mechanics might freak out because this car is uh, supposed to have BMW antifreeze in it if you really want to know and it would be the blue antifreeze. We will flush this car out and go back with the blue antifreeze. This green antifreeze, however, is not something that's an issue. Um, it's not preferred, nor is it recommended, but it is a, a, a qualified replacement antifreeze that's suitable for all aluminum engines and uh, ones that run with turbochargers. Um, but, you know, always the best is what the factory recommends. They spent tons hundreds of thousands of dollars developing uh, stuff and making sure that whatever they use keeps this engine all like uh, all engines need to be kept good the only way to do it is through proper lubrications
keeping the temperatures down so it doesn't superheat and try and lock up. So anyway, with that being said, you got that. You've got various pulleys. This is a low mileage car. Like I said, it's a Naj T twin turbo. Turbo there where oil was discharging all over the aluminum face. And then over here you can see when the hoses aren't leaking and everything's clean, it looks like that. So um, basically with this all tied up now and then we power wash it all, it will look like that and that will look better. Um, but with this mileage, you may want to replace all your idler pulleys. Um, absolutely replace your fan clutch. Anything over 10 years on a fan clutch, a must in my opinion. You got too much heat, too many things going on here with this engine that needs to stay cool. And like I said, this is a 2005 Bentley Anaj T. I'm Sam Smythe. This is Sam Smythe Reported Car Service. We're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're an authorized independent Bentley service workshop. Um, we have been for several years now. I believe we were the first and the only. There may be uh, ones now, but we're several years running into this now. It means we can work on every car uh, right up to the new cars, but we don't do new car warranty work. So, but we are capable. We do have the parts, the service, and everything. And then we go all the way back to the beginning of Bentley, all the way to the contemporary model car. So, and we do all the Rolls Royces within our service program but not the new Phantoms. Those are completely separate and have nothing to do with uh, either Heritage Parts or Bentley. So anyway, with that being said, you're in Cincinnati, Ohio, or you have a question in regards to a Naj T, give us a call. Our telephone number is 513-793-0434. Again, 513-793-0434. You can see our website. It's Smythe, S-M-Y-T-H, imports, I-M-P-O-R-T-S dot com. Once again, that's Smythe, S-M-Y-T-H, imports, I-M-P-O-R-T-S dot com. And other than that, that's about it. Um, this is a 2005 uh, twin turbo, a, a Naj T, and we're doing a uh, full service on it from front to brakes, the leveling system as well. So anyway, that's it. I wish everyone all the best. Cheers.